All right, what are the five things that you should know about the measure tool in Fusion 360? Hey, Tyler Beck with Tech and Espresso. Five things. First one, of course, is the quick measure. If you select anything in the design, like an edge, you get this measurement down below. If you select two things, like these two lines, it tries to give you something intelligent, like the normal distance between them. If I do two faces, it gives me the normal distance between them. If I try this arc, it's going to give me that radius. Great. So that's the quick measure. The next one is using the measure command and the default is I. Looks like the shortcut is I. So if I hit I, that brings it up. You can do edges, bodies, and components. If we select, let's look at the holes. I'll select these two and it's defaulting from center to center. Be aware that you can show the XYZ delta. And that gives you that nice breakdown of the travel and the X and Y between those two distances. So that's tip number two. Number three is be aware you can do secondary units. So if you want to see things also in inches, that can be very helpful. The restart lets you start the measure over and start new selections. And number five, if I were to select two different faces here, I get this distance at any time. You'll notice when you hover over anything in the measure, you can copy that. Just click on it. Now in Notepad or whatever other program you're looking at, you can copy and paste that value right in. Hit that like button for me. Hit subscribe. You'll get notified with each daily tip in Fusion 360.